Hey, Alex and Selm with Unselm Tennis. Uh, today I'm gonna share with you a little tip uh, that's pretty handy, that comes in pretty useful. I've uh, pulled it out of the bag uh, quite a bit over my last 20 or so years here coaching. Um, and this is gonna be great for anybody who uh, holds the grip too tight, who has a, a wrist that hurts after they play or the elbow that hurts. Um, a lot of the times this is gonna come down to the fact that you're just holding the grip too tight and you're maybe not letting go in between shots and you're just overworking uh, your whole you know, hitting arm and then, you know, then, then it hurts. This is also a good exercise too to just do to improve you know, hitting a clean ball, being, being precise uh, with where you're trying to hit the ball, you know, really trying to get that sweet spot because obviously that's important when, you're, when you play tennis, okay? But uh, let me get down to the just of it right over here, okay? So what uh, the exercise is, what, what it's gonna be is gonna be to learn to kind of Ultimately, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the progression, but ultimately I'm gonna learn, teach you how to hit the ball with just holding uh, two fingers around the grip like this, okay? So that you realize that you actually don't even really need all of your fingers to be holding the ball and hitting a clean shot. But it's a little awkward to just go from two fingers, you know, especially if you've never tried it before, so anybody who's never done this, uh, the progression that I do here uh, is that first of all, you're gonna hit the ball and you're gonna take just your pinky off right over here. Okay, so just the pinky is off, uh, and you're just gonna hit regular forehand, backhands. Uh, if you're hitting with two-handed backhands, just take the pinky off of both hands, okay? But if you're a one-handed backhand, you can hit both forehands and uh, backhands with this pinky off of the grip right here. And the next finger you're gonna wanna take off is your uh, index finger right over here. So you're gonna actually hit forehands and backhands with actually technically now you're gonna have three fingers around the grip because these two you're actively trying to keep off of the grip and you're just gonna be hitting your forehands, your backhands uh, with just three fingers around the grip. And then the ultimate level is to take your ring finger off. So ultimately then all you have is your thumb and your middle finger around the grip like this and you're just gonna be hitting forehands and backhands, boom, okay? Just using the two fingers on the grip. Uh, so. And then, little by little, next step then after that, we're going to progress back down to putting back this finger, putting back this finger, and then putting back that finger until we're just hitting regular balls and everything from the baseline, okay? Um, this is a good thing to do, maybe if it's the first time you try it, maybe do it just inside of the service boxes so you don't feel like you have to get the ball that far uh, at first, and then as you get a little bit more comfortable with it, you can definitely do this from the baseline Forehands, backhands, if it's too hard from the baseline, just move in a little bit. And if you can do it from the baseline, then just try and keep going, keep that rhythm going, okay? Uh, when you're doing this, this should be a low intensity exercise. Uh, we're not moving our feet very much. We don't wanna be running to the ball. We're trying to play cooperatively with each other, get the ball to each other uh, so that you know we're just there and we can just feel what it's like to hit the ball cleanly right in the sweet spot with just two fingers around the grip. After we've done that a few times, your body kind of gets the idea that Oh, this squeezing more is not going to improve your shot. If anything, no, it'll make your shot worse. And in the long term, in the long run, that's how you get a lot of elbow and wrist issues um, that, that plague people uh, after that, okay? So try this exercise a little bit. See how it works out for you. Again, I think you should always just kind of play around to the level, okay? Uh, if, if you can't do it with just two fingers, uh, you know, and you can only do it with just one finger off, Take some time, just you know, do take a, take a couple minutes each time you're warming up to just do it with the finger off, just one finger off until you feel good to take two, and then you can take three, okay? Um, most of the time I find that most people can go through the whole progression almost, almost right away. Don't be worried if you're actually missing a, a, a lot of shots or not hitting too clean in the beginning, that's fine. You've only got two fingers around the racket. The important thing is that is not to expect to like hit 100 balls in a row you know, clean. I mean, you can try and do that at higher levels or something. But the important thing is even for intermediate or beginner level players is that you just make a few good contacts in the middle so that you realize that, yeah, even with just two fingers on the racket, my racket has plenty of, uh, of pace on the ball and, and, and the ball's getting over to the other side, no problem. And I don't need to strangle um, my racket during the shot, okay? So that's the exercise. Go ahead and practice that. Um, to let you know that it's not to say that you always need a, a, a loose grip or anything like that, but that might be another topic, another, an, another video uh, for times when you might need to tighten your grip a little bit more or less, um, but that's not the point, okay? This is just to show you this exercise, share it with you. It's one that I use a lot, that I see helps a lot of people. 
uh, taking the fingers off the grip one at a time, learning to hit the ball with just two fingers around the racket. It's great. I actually also use this drill a lot of times for people who want to develop a uh, good feel or have, or, you know, when you say you have good hands, right? So this really teaches you how to kind of really have good hands. You can, you really feel the ball a lot more. You're having to pay a lot closer attention to kind of that feeling in your hand, uh, being around the grip while you're hitting the ball and what that feels like. And ultimately, when you practice that enough, it really helps develop your, your feel and your touch uh, for all sorts of shots, like drop shots, drop volleys, uh, little dink shots, lobs, everything, all those shots that are based on feel, okay? So go ahead, try out that exercise. Uh, let me know in the comments if, uh, if it works for you, if it doesn't work for you, if you're struggling with it uh, or anything like that. And uh, be sure to check out uh, my webpage, www.unselmtennis.com if you want more info, if you want to come over, uh, spend a week here or more, whatever you want, come train with me. Um, I'm doing only private training now, one-on-one, -on -one, so it's kind of, a, it's fun. We can train together uh, the whole week, mixing up other activities uh, around here. We've got a lot of good, fun stuff to do. So uh, anyway, that's it for today, and we'll see you guys on the next one.